that well, that's how those it happened. Embryo. Yeah, no, yeah. But exactly. Mm -hmm. the, the but we just ignorant shit. Look at, look at guys, we need, shit. we need to address the, the historical context a little bit because the proof and the actual What bothers you? Oh, fuck. What? What? what hey, coach, coach, wait, coach, let coach finish. Go. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. It's, 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 it's like this. We know a lot. Egypt, right? Hecaptos in Greek and Chem, Chemet, Al Chemet. So the word Egypt itself, Chem, or the the rain or the kingdom of Chem, Shem, Chem, it means the rain of the burned ones. So it was always mixed cultures down there, always mixed, uh, of course, skin colors. We have uh, the Shifu tribes, the Hiribu tribes. We have the first Phoenician tribes living and working and roaming in, in these areas as well. And the Ptolemaic brought in the Minoans and, of course, also the Greek that were a bit more, let's say, light-skinned. We don't have, I mean, of course, because we need to be very, very, you know, careful with what, you know, British Museum and everything, what, what's exposed there, because all that stuff is highly manipulated. And so we don't really oh, have proof coach. of... Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm sorry, but it's true. You're speaking out against the Brits, you must. No, I'm not speaking Ryan. about the cultural system that is brought up by the French, the Brits, and the Americans, right? Kind of controlling the narrative in archaeology. So that's the problem here. There is some. There is some evidence. There is some scripture that indicates to the fact that she had that red reddish tone of of her skin as like all the mediterraneans do if you know if i go reddish back to sicily hair. if i go back to sicily and i stay there again for a couple of of years i, I will turn like reddish reddish black because the sun and the mediterranean basin is is just you look like that down there mm. so to say i would say there is no actual proof that she was fair skinned in the way that we perceive her now so to say black is, of course, a reconstruction that takes some liberty and in interpretation. It's not completely wrong per se, but they are, of course, they're not pointing out this yeah. this type of, of history that I'm kind of trying yeah. to highlight in a couple of minutes, because, of course, they have way more ramifications because the Maghrebins, the Berbers and the, the Hecaptos, the people of al the, the Nubians of the south, they were all interbreeding the royalties there. So it's it's kind of difficult to kind of you know pick it out in a couple of minutes, but they're not doing this type of research. That that's what's bothering me. They're not they're not giving us the factual evidence that could you know lead them to kind of have that liberty, that interpretational liberty and that freedom of of giving her a new. They're not saying that. <laughs> what the, that's the thing exactly. They're, they're oh claiming my. the ginger gang. No, coach, you're absolutely right. That's the thing. You're absolutely right because that's good that you and you would you know so much. Like yes, so they took the liberty, and then even if they would try, they they not. There's no integrity. Okay. No. No. Even, no. So that's at the least thing. you 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 express it. You you described it the right way. They just would have did it regardless without like yes, you know I mean? <laughs> yes. Like, if they would at least come up with this type of <laughs> like, little explanations, like understand, you know, they don't want to of... meet halfway, they want complete dominance of right. what they think Facts, is right so. because right. they obviously Correct. adhere to their, which is sad their, because their, with their desperation, the chance to do it. You yeah, actually right. had the historical kind of chance of, of kind of take that liberty if you would rather explain it and do your research. These people are not doing their they research. They don't care. They're, They're just lazy. so desperate. They're, They're so desperate. narcissistic and desperate They're to be represented that they will hijack. They will hijack everything. Here's right. the thing. These people see. Mm. These people see. Um, what you call it? Like being victims as power and they feel mm -hmm. as though they are the most victimized therefore they can trample on any culture they see fit including uh egyptian culture they don't right. care and about I any of that they do not that, care about the is, very the really very culture me, they, they are, are representing ah oh, we're from there yeah. we're from there they're our ancestors and now when you have to chant it's in africa the, so i guess so right. <laughs> Cleopatra yeah, was not African American. No, but, no. <laughs> but they always, you know, when they always get a chance. To Let me speak. shout out this uh, super chat really, really oh. fast. Sorry, because it's been on the screen. Mm -hmm. Double Brewski five dollars says Dwayne DeRock Johnson, um, starring as Jesus in the Passion of the Christ to Judgment Day. That sounds terrible. <laughs> I want to see this I just so I can get caught. Ever, 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 ever. ever. <laughs> 
Like, Devil Eyes know. Elvis for five dollars says Michael B. Jordan is gonna kill it as Stephen Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. My empty pants Pikachu before it says my liver is healed. Hallelujah. <laughs> Where are we getting uh, on? You know it? what, man? What when when it comes to oh. when it comes to this Queen Cleopatra depiction, it you know, you're calling it a documentary that is being um, you know, visually told. And it's like, okay, like, why are you taking liberty to treat her, Queen Cleopatra, as though she is a work of fiction, what you call a documentary. That's literally what I get from this title right here. She is not a work of fiction. Like, that, you can't just take these liberties as you see fit because they are um, politically correct or what you deem as, as righteous. No, Cle Cleopatra was a real fucking human being. Like, can we just at evidence. least... If you want to depict this as though it the work itself is a work of fiction, then you know what? Fine. Like, I'm not going to sit here and, and bitch about a, a fictional, you know, storytelling. Like, for example, a good a good example is the film that recently came out on Netflix called Blonde. It's mm -hmm. based upon um, what you call it. Um, what's her name? Um, uh, I can't I think like of her I'm name. It, Blooper. Yeah, it, it, it's based upon. Let me see. Well, well, she's searching for that. Marilyn Monroe. Mar Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. There oh, you go. There we go. It's based okay. upon Marilyn Monroe, but it's based upon a book that kind of, you know, they don't say it's directly like a documentary. No, it's like it tries to fill in the gaps of some things about her life. And so this that work that that Netflix blonde film is based upon that book that says this isn't like a direct representation because we don't know all the facts. Mm -hmm. So like if, if you want to go that route and kind of treat it as though, it, you know, it's fictional based upon um, some true elements, then sure, fine, but do that. But you're literally saying it's a docu-series. It's a docu-work. And it's not. Like you're not treating it as though it is. You're trying to rewrite history because you feel so, so fucking self-righteous in your narcissism that you think you have the right to do so. Mm -hmm. here, and, that's here. and that's and that's that's really what it is so that's why I like even the explanation of how we could have got to this point ends up not mattering because then the title of this look what bothers you so much about black, that's not the art like if they really wanted to defend what they were doing they could have been like you know that this wouldn't be what they would be saying like what bothers you so much about this like you could tell they're trying to taunt people instead of having respect for the situation period so that's why I like i mean when you hear jada pinkett is behind it it's like you know and yeah. I, anything jada pinkett is doing i already know how it's gonna mm -hmm. be I, I i don't you know these people they just she's it's genuinely terrible just they make a, <laughs> they just make a parody of everything uh, even things that are serious like they're, they're just they just chew it up and make it their own mm -hmm. like, that's what they try to do. I, I will say though hypno the uh, Taliban Twitter account has changed hands. It's much more traditional yeah. and conservative now. <laughs> so they may just blow you up yeah. for defending yeah. them like that. The Taliban, me and the Taliban actually... <laughs> not oh, shit. Damn. Wait, what? Yeah, they're what? More, they were on a watch list now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're getting yeah. worse and worse every Saturday. It's always that way. I would yeah. like to go ahead and put out my official statement, distancing myself from. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Too late. We laughed at a comment about someone that someone made about 14 year olds. Well, the, the Gen Z Taliban that were running that Twitter account Gen Z Taliban. Of, <laughs> were accused of aiding spies in the country. No. Kitty! Oh, no. Kitty! Coach has a kitty too, but I don't know yes. where he went. No, but my kitty doesn't behave like a kitty. She runs a criminal organization for sure. As soon as I leave the house, I'm sure she's picking up the phone. It's like, okay, best, let's come over. He's gone. Right. Hurry up, hurry up. He's so annoying. I have to tell you everything. A criminal organization. It's hard. It's hard. I can stand the guy. Right. Folks. <laughs> my cat is a, is a nefarious being. He's like, she, she sits there and like, every time. Your I cat's around, a black cat, isn't it? It's a black cat. And she's from the streets. Why of am I not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't saying it like that. Well, you know, for bad luck. No, exactly. in the what hood. do you mean, you people? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, look. 
<laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, wake up in whole... the middle of the night and my cat is looking at me. Why is she <laughs> looking at me while I'm sleeping? It's like, it's taking you out. It's going to mug you soon. She has a cat. Casey has a cat. I don't know. I don't he's going to mug, he's gonna mug you to look I for catnip. Do. That's how it always works. She's an outside it's, cat. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> like in pets. I love the, 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 pet, the first pet. <laughs> Terrible. Wait, Wait, what? Stop showing us <laughs> your um your oh, enterprise uh, G uh, live uh, on air. Yeah. We enjoy some privilege. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we enjoy some privilege.